finally it was time for me and Angelo to hit the road this morning. So we were leaving Arusha and heading to Nairobi in Kenya. And from here on, I'd like you to get to know this legend on my right hand side a little bit more, but I'd also like to show you as much as possible of the places we go, the activities we do, and East Africa, because it's a fascinating place. Left Arusha this morning, today we're going to Nairobi, and um, we're going to stop at the border, obviously, we'll do a border crossing. Uh, it takes about eight hours to get to Nairobi from Arusha, around about that. I hope you will miss the traffic. But today is just about getting up there and uh, getting set, facing ourselves, and getting ready to pick up the, the passengers in two days' time. Stop here to pick up some charcoal. Yeah, we try to use charcoal as much as possible on a trip. It's nice to cook on fire, especially at a camp. But at the same time, it's hard to get gas where we're going. You can't fill it up, refill it. So it makes sense to use as much charcoal as we can and save the gas for when we really need it. I love stops like this, it's for work, stopping to pick up the charcoal but you just take a look around and you're in the middle of nowhere, like right in the middle of the bush in Kenya in East Africa. It's cool, it's my favourite part of every trip, it's not seeing the animals, it's not doing all the, going to see the big attractions, it's just when you're actually in the middle of nowhere like this. I love it, I just love it. And there come the rains. I love the rain. Let the rain down. Yeah. Besides, uh, people are squeezing money in order to get some juices. <laughs> Come on, let's go, guys. <laughs> I spent the afternoon reminiscing about my bicycle trip through Africa. Because we were driving on the, the very same road. Felt like I recognised every building, every bush, half of my camp behind. And then it was the capital of Kenya, Nairobi. <laughs> this here is Nairobi National Park. And this is exactly why every now and again you see in the news a lion on the streets in Nairobi because the, the park is like literally at the, like in the city so it's crazy no fences <laughs> and finally some shopping okay, going into a shopping center here and it's not often that you get into or get to go into one like this it's like a proper western shopping mall so it's really really cool not buying anything for myself, but still get excited over it. Therefore, no. Ah, oh, but there's something there, look. The driver? Yeah, that must be you, yeah. Let me see. Maybe Mugo? I don't know. Someone gave it to me. Who is this? Someone gave it to me up at the shop. No, look. Don't, don't do this. Hey, this. What's this? I get the impression he didn't get any presents. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, Paul. God bless you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I didn't I forget, didn't you appreciate. know. <laughs> oh, this now will prolong my life. You have to open your present. Oh. Prolong your life. Well, obviously it's not a mosquito net, it's not your present. It is a mosquito net, but something stiff me. What's this? Monk, yeah. Monk, Rari. Yeah, I think you'll like that one. I like it. You'll like that Very one. Very much so. Yeah. Happy birthday, Angelo. I really do appreciate yeah. it. <laughs>